My name is Wade Mosley. I'm the facility supervisor here at Bomb Stadium. Uh, I'm in charge of all the uh, daily maintenance to the baseball field and the surrounding lawns. I stress the, stress the little things, you know, that keeping your edges straight, you know, keeping it edged, you know, have a nice boundary between dirt and grass, all the different surfaces, you know, keep the weeds out of the track, you know, it's the little things that people will notice over the big picture, you know what I mean? You have to make sure your know, dugouts are clean, you know, you don't want to have one little thing that doesn't look good and that kind of takes away from the rest of the field. I'm Pat Berger, Director of Sports Turf Operations for the University of Arkansas. We'll come through and we'll do not as often as I wish because that's what competent supervisors give you that ability. Not, not to lax, but to, to know that the job's being well done. We'll come down, we'll walk the field, we'll talk about the different aspects. When we get into the field, actually our, we have two different grasses. You know, the normal grass, our base grass is Bermuda grass. It's, uh, not, it's not green and growing and acceptable uh, for playing surface during the, the ball season. So we come in the fall and we put our ryegrass, which would be our cover crop, which is about what you see out here now. Uh, in the spring, we have to get rid of that. Then we have to get rid of the, grow, the dead grass that we get rid of, so the Bermuda grass is healthy. So we constantly, 12 months of the year, are monitoring what the, what the dormant grass looks like, what the live grass or the ryegrass looks like, and vice versa during the summer. The grass, you know, doing patterns in the grass and stuff, you know, that's for the fans, you know, it looks great, but for the team, you know, maintaining the dirt behind me, that, that's maybe the most important thing. You know, you don't want bad hops, you don't want it too hard or too soft, you know, it's, it's, it's walking a fine line, you know, you really got to pay a lot of attention. You know, people come in and think, oh, the grass, you know, they must spend all their time on the grass, when really I probably spend more time maintaining the dirt than I do the grass because you know, if you were to tally up, you know, how many ground balls to fly balls in a game, you know, I'd say probably 75% of the action is going on on the dirt. I look at the weather religiously. If it's a sunny day, I still wake up in the morning and look at the weather report. You know, you never know in Arkansas. You know, we've had days where it's been clear and sunny and then three hours later, you know, it's, it's raining, so you never know. It's part of my job to stay on top of that. And uh, we have, you know, I have an iPhone, I have a computer up there in the main office that we always keep track, you know. I'm always, always on the weather. You know, I think our record is we did it, we did it with eight guys one time, you know. That was just our turf department crew. We don't like to do it with eight guys, but if we had to, we could. But uh, the more the merrier on a tarp pool especially if you have to dump water, you know, that thing is really heavy. So, uh, you know, the team, they're real good about helping, helping with that. You know, anytime I need guys, they'll get me guys to help. So, um, yeah, tar pool is interesting. It's our livelihood, you know, we spend, I spend more time here than I do at my house, you know, I mean, it's a direct reflection on me and my crew. So, you know, if feel looks bad, I, you know, I don't feel good about it, you know, so when it looks good, we feel good. And uh, you know, this we take pride in this. It's our, it's our career. I take a lot of pride in it, but I, I, I probably take just as much pride in the fact that I, I've got key people that I can set up fertilizer programs and fungicides or whatever's necessary to keep the grass growing. But it's the day-to-day -day basis that when I'm spread out with seven or eight different uh, athletic fields or complexes, uh, I know I've got a good staff, and I, I really have to take my hats off to the people that are underneath me. It's important to stay professional, you know, I always tell everybody you got to be a fan second or even third, you know, if you're going to work out here. Um, but yeah, we're fans, you know, we always follow the team when they're on the road, you know, we like to watch the game, you know, so, you know, we are fans, you know, I think that's kind of why, you know, we take pride in this place too, you know, we want to see the team do well, we want to see the facility, you know, look good as fans and as professionals.